Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a massive Goodwill outlet thrift haul for you guys. Just a good old fashioned thrift haul. I have two full Ikea bags. Ah. Um, this was from last weekend. And yeah, quite a bit of stuff. So um, grab yourself a drink. <laughs> get to work if you're also a reseller um and just kind of listen to some brands that i'm going to share with you guys um a lot of these are good old bread and butter but there are some bolos in here to keep an eye out for so let's get to it here we go oh if you're new here my name is danielle hello welcome 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 um i do thrift hauls i'm a full-time reseller so if that is your jam please subscribe below um yeah let's get into it first up is a pair of overalls tis the season almost these are just old navy but they do sell pretty consistently for me for around that 20 dollars mark and i will always pick up overalls they always sell for me <laughs> next up whoopsie is a pair of these are tiger woods nike these are just some golf pants really nice condition they are a larger size well kind of larger 38 and they're just really nice the selfie rate was pretty good on these that's why i picked them up i won't get much for them maybe 20 to 30. next is a brand called young la this is a, um, like a gym wear sort of line. They do a lot of, I can't really think of the word. People who lift, so shorts. These are lifting shorts that men will wear. They're very short. I suppose women can wear them too, but these were for men. They're a size small. They are just a pair of, yeah, gym shorts. They are like a sweat, a sweatpants style, terry cloth. And these will probably go for like 15 to 20. Sell through rate was pretty good on that. Next is one of my favorites to find. This is Smart Wool. Very good brand to be on the lookout for. This is just a men's t-shirt. It's an XL. And I should get about 25 to 30 for this. I love finding Smart Wool. Always check for holes though because they are notorious for having holes because it is a wool base um, material. Next up, what is this? <laughs> what did I buy? This was a new to me brand. It's Marcella. It's definitely a, this is like a tunic hoodie. It's very uh like lagging look lots of layers lots of um just an asymmetrical hem it is a designer brand i believe out of new york i'm not 100 percent sure but some of their items like this style of hoodie was selling for or i think like 30 to 40 so i thought i would give it a shot i've got an athleta bra these don't typically go for much, maybe 10 to 15, but I do always pick them up. This one is a medium. Next is Nike, the Nike Tech. I will always pick this up. I've noticed this year I've been picking up a lot of their sweatpants. So the Nike Tech sweatpants, like the jogger sweatpants, I find those quite a bit at the bins and they have sold consistently for me. Every single pair that I've gotten, I feel like has sold within a month. So I will continue to pick up Nike Tech. The whole like athleisure, gorp core thing is still strong. So these I have up for 40. They are just a men's kind of like a chino style with like a tapered leg, kind of like a cargo, um, yeah. And they are newer, I think 2021. So these, yeah, 2021. Um, so yeah, that's a good indicator too, is to check the year that the Nike, whatever you find Nike Tech came out. Obviously the newer styles are gonna do better, sell more quickly. Um, 
these I did not get at the bins, but they're in this haul, so I'll show you anyway. <laughs> I got all of these at the regular Goodwill. I got four of them. I did pay up a little bit. I paid $6.99. They are the Prairie. This is the brand. These are definitely Bolos. Um, it is a compression post-surgery bra. Um, they go for about 40 to 50 fairly quickly. And these are all a size large in great condition. I love selling these. I love finding them at the bins. It's a brand that not a lot of people know about or think to look up because it's just a generic looking sports bra, but they are like a post-surgery brand. <clears throat> Next is... I guess I do have some stuff in here from a rummage sale that I went to. So I did only find a few items, but I'll let you know which ones those are. This is one of them. It is Lululemon. These I paid $4 for. They are a jogger, just a jogger pant. I forgot the exact style name, but they're a size 12 and in really good condition. Still has the hang tag. I spent four and I have them up for 45. And then I also found this same exact pant there in a different color. This is like a maroon, deep purple color, also a size 12. So same donator, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, $4 each for these and they should flip for between 35 and 40. Not as much as I was thinking for Lululemon pants, but that has gone down quite a bit. Um, North Face, this was a Ben's pickup. Um, yeah, all, most of this is from the outlet, just so you guys know. So I paid about a dollar, two dollars for each item, which is very nice to keep my cost of goods low. But the items, yeah, I think I have maybe like three more items in here from the rummage sale that I will let you guys know, um, how much I paid for them. This is just a North Face, um, <clears throat> Summit series. That's why I picked it up. I, I'm giving this a shot. Normally I don't pick up North Face, but I thought that this was a different type of material. It's more of a um, like hiking, outdoorsy, windbreaker style of jacket that I think a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are doing that right now. Um, <laughs> like the PCT or hiking mountains, you know what they do. So I thought I would give it a try. I have it up for 25. Okay, next up is a new to me brand. It's called Black Yak. It is like an outdoor gear company. This, it was kind of hard to find comps on this brand. There were not a lot on eBay or Poshmark, but the ones that were up were like winter coats and jackets, more of like rain and snow types. And those ones were selling for like over a hundred dollars. So it's definitely a brand that I would be on the lookout for and to Google or run comps if you come across it. But this is actually a sample. Um, and it's a women's kind of zip up jacket, I'm guessing for running, hiking, that sort of thing. I have this one up for 65 with a few watchers. Um, yeah, but definitely something I would, um, if you see it, if you come across it just to run comps, and see how it does. This was mine. <laughs> this is just a North Face pullover sweater. It's a size large. I just haven't wore this in forever, so I thought I would try to resell it. Um, I have this up for 30. It's a, it's so cute. I love it, but I just wasn't wearing it. These are a few items that maybe I regret picking up, so we'll see how they do. This is a Ireland pure new wool scarf. I thought I would give it a try um, since the season is coming up, but it's super soft. It's like new and I have this up for 20. And then this one is, I think, this is 100% cashmere, which is why I picked this one up. It's just a, it doesn't really have a brand. It's just made in Germany, 100% cashmere. Um, this one has a really nice colorway plaid, like a tartan plaid, tartan plaid, however you say that. Um, this one is also up for 20. One of my favorite brands. I'm totally going to be that lady that wears this, 
like her entire wardrobe is gonna be this when I'm like 60 years old. Just wait and see. <laughs> Life is good, just a popover hoodie. It's a woman's XL and I'll probably just get like 20 for this. But I love that brand, it sells pretty quickly for me. It is a bit saturated, but um, if you find a, a good size and a good kind of graphic print or a more sustainable like a hoodie popover um, those tend to do pretty well next is exclusively miss sook great brand to be on the lookout for this is just the pants so it's kind of like a slinky almost like a santana knit from saint john um just a great like career wear brand for anybody really, but maybe more mature. Um, I've never just sold the pants. I've always kind of sold like a two piece set or a shirt set. So we will see how these do. They are a medium, so not the best size for this brand, but I have them up for I think 40 and we'll just see how they do. We will see. Next is this really cool Star Wars sheet. It is only the flat sheet, but I have sold another one like almost exactly like this it was star wars and the only reason why i picked it up is because it's pottery barn i can't find the tag right now but any sort of pottery barn bedding i'm always gonna run comps on and these ones i will probably only get about 20 for this but that is fine by me the last one that i had was also a flat sheet and it sold for i think 25 within three weeks so pretty nice flip just gotta check for staining <laughs> i mean but this one had no stains and is in really good condition this is a disney cruella it's a torrid a line from torrid is what i could gather from my information but this is just a really cute kind of like all over print blouse and it has a little tie a necktie that you can also wear really cute i have this one up for 20 and it's a size three so it's a great torrid size what is this oh yeah this is house of harlow great brand it's like a gingham stretchy midi dress it is so cute it's an xl it's really really cute i have it up for 45 This was a return. You guys have already seen this, but it's a Chico's kind of Japanese style tunic blouse, 100% silk. That one got returned for fit, so I have it relisted. Next is just something I picked up just because I think it looks cool, but it's a Jack Nicholas, just a golf pullover sweater vest. It's a, a large, a men's large, but I just thought this was so cute. How can you say, how can you say no to that? Somebody has to wear that. This one I have up for 40. There's another one that's posted that was up for, I want to say like 60, same size. So I did quite a bit of a cut <laughs> um, just to try to get mine sold because there were none sold. So we'll see how that does. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. The tag has been cut. I'm guesstimating it's an XL, but it has these gold Lauren Ralph Lauren buttons and it's a cable knit striped sweater, perfect for fall. Very um, coastal nautical vibe. This one I have up for 30. And my, my Dutch Bros, I just love picking up Dutch Bros. Their gear sells very consistently for me for maybe 15 bucks, but I can't leave it behind. This one I have up for 15 as well. Next is a pair of Gymshark leggings. These are like the seamless. They have the booty thing in the back and they are an XL. They are the black camo and they are like the cropped seven eighth length, which is really cute. I have these ones up for 30. Next is Democracy. These ab, what is it? 
Ab Technology jeans. I will always pick them up if they're in really good condition at the bins. These ones will sell for probably about 20. Yeah, probably about 20. Um, they're a size six. Great condition, like a high rise skinny jean. The selfie ray is pretty good on that brand. Um, you don't get much, but um, yeah, like I said, probably about that $20 mark. This was a, I'm just kind of trying this out. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren linen blazer, like a cropped blazer jacket. It is a, it is an older style. It has like the shoulder pads, but I thought I would give it a try. I have it up for 30. It's linen and it has these really big buttons. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this does. I think I have a watcher already on that. So that's a good sign. It's always when you're trying something new, it's always a good sign to like list it and then see that it has a watcher because then you know like okay that wasn't a really really terrible pickup <laughs> next is another life is good this is a large just boston baseball tee i thought this was super cute i have this one up for i want to say 18. really cute next is a great brand to be on the lookout for it's icelandic design they are mostly made of wool. They do a lot of wool sweaters, jackets. This one is a like a button front jacket with a really cute embroidered cuff. Great for winter. It's a size small, so um, it will still sell, but I do like picking up the larger sizes in this brand. And it hasn't had much action yet, but I know that once it hits to be, you know, October, November, it's gonna sell. Oh, I have that one up for, I wanna say 60. So you can get a pretty good amount from those. The sweaters, depending on how intricate they are with like the, the print and the pattern, they have some really pretty like Nordic prints ones that can go for quite a bit. That one wasn't as decorated as some of the other ones, but um, in that style of jacket with more of a, a full print, you can get quite a bit for those. Next is a totally new to me brand. It is vintage. It's Josepha. Yeah, Josepha. I forgot the last name of this designer, but it is made in Mexico. They do, or she, or he, I have no idea. I didn't really do research on this dress, but um, more of the embroidered long maxi kind of like peasant dresses. So cute. I have this one up pretty high for $2.25. It is a long maxi dress. Um, it has this Josepha for Anna Villa on the inside hem. 100% um, cotton. A lot of them, this was more of a, um, I don't know, a lot of the colorways for this brand were really bright and floral and um, you know, super vibrant. This was definitely, you know, it's black, not a lot of embroidery, but some of their stuff does go for a really, really good amount. So I would keep an eye out for this brand. Um, embroidery is something I will always grab at the bins and kind of do research on. So that is why I just decided to pick this up and check it out. I don't normally pick up a lot of vintage wear. If it has a tag, a brand, I'm, I'm going to look it up and research it, but a lot of them don't have any tags or, you know, but they still sell. So if that is your like forte <laughs> and you love vintage dresses or vintage clothing, like it will still sell. And I, I know that you know that if you are already selling them. <laughs> um, this is Ultra, which is the shoe brand. This is a hoodie, just a woman's hoodie, size small. Has this pretty cool graphic on the back. I have only sold their shoes, maybe like two pairs of their shoes. It is a great brand to be on the lookout for, shoe-wise. Clothing-wise, not so much. I have this listed for, I think, 25. Um, the sell-through rate for their clothing was not very good, but I thought I would give it a try. There was barely any listed, so that's why I decided to pick it up and try it because maybe people are looking for it, but it's just not there. It's not listed for them to buy. Oh, my little bangs are coming out of my ponytail. <laughs> Next is denim and supply. 
just a Ralph Lauren brand. They no longer make this brand. So when I come across it, I always kind of run comps on it. I thought this would be great for fall. It's a large, I believe. Oh no, it's a medium, but not much for this, maybe 15 to 20, but I thought I would give it a shot. Next is an outdoor research kind of beanie. It has like a, a brimmed beanie cap and it has a little zipper on the back. Outdoor Research is a great brand to be on the lookout for. Clothing wise, jackets, flannels, um, all that jazz does really well for me. The beanies, we'll see how, I've never picked up any sort of accessories from them. I have this up for 25. It is a wool blend, so I think it will do well from winter. Okay, one bag down, one to go. Let's do this. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I hope you're learning. I hope you're learning. I hope you're learning some new things and also getting some work done. That's what I do when I'm listing or photographing. I just listen to all of you guys that make YouTube videos and you really help me, you know, I'm working and learning some new things at the same time. Okay, this trip I found three Lululemon sports bras. One of them already sold for 30. This one is a 36C. It's a really pretty like lime green. It's like greenish yellow. It's really cute. And I forgot the name of this style. I'm sorry, but it is in my closet if you're interested. The only thing is that it has some rusting to the hooks on the back. I did um, disclose that in the listing. It's just from wash or maybe they left it in some water. I have no idea, but you can see it's a little bit rusty. Um, this one I have up for 25 and then I have one more in here somewhere. Eventually we'll get to it. <laughs> this is a free people linen top. It's so cute. It has like a ruffle sleeve button down, or maybe it's like a hem. Loom. Yeah. So this would be like a popover top because the button only goes like right to there. I'm estimating it's a medium large. The, um, size has been cut out yeah yeah so this I have up for 24 I'm not expecting much but it does have I want to say like two watchers so far so that is good I'm very hesitant to pick up free people items sometimes um, that I know will do good because it's 100% linen it's black it's um, it's a trending style right now, but some stuff, you know, you're just like, oh, it's really cute, but am I gonna sit on it for months and months and months? <laughs> Next is a great brand, Gramici, Gramici. I don't know if you guys can see that. These are just um, some women's kind of cargo hiking pants. They are 100% nylon. They have the roll up, so you can do the capri pants instead of the full length. They are a women's medium great like olive green color this brand is super popular for like y2k gorp core kids right now mostly the men's like cargo pants those ones do really well i have yet to sell a pair of women's i have two in my closet right now and i haven't sold either of them but i couldn't pass that up so we will see how it does i think i have them in my closet for 35. next is Good American. These are some jean shorts. They're size 15 slash 33. Really cute distressed jean short. I have these in my closet for 25. Next is Torrid. Just some like um, pull on career pants size 3. I think these are so cute and perfect for fall. Look at that. They have the stretchy waistband and they kind of hit at the ankle. Just a straight leg. So cute for fall, for work. I have these ones up for 25, I believe. Okay, this was the other, ah! <laughs> the other uh, rummage sale find. It is Baya which is Johnny was, I, I had zero service at this church and I looked at this tag for probably a minute and I was like, what is that? I know 
I have heard of this before. I feel like it's a good brand. I don't know. Dresses were five bucks. So I left it there. I stepped out of the room. I got service. I looked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Johnny Was. And I ran back in and I picked it up and happily paid $5 for this. It is a one size, and this is a vintage. It's Bia Rated R. Bia, I might be saying that wrong. I apologize. But it's like a navy blue maxi dress with like an embroidered hem. It's so cute. It's a button front. It has the, um, oh my gosh, mother of pearl. That's what it is. The mother of pearl buttons. It's so cute. I think it's rayon. Yeah, 100% rayon. So very cute. I paid five bucks for this at that sale and I have mine up for 95. This is a more vintage style. Um, so I'm not expecting, you know, some of them can go for that 100 or more range, which is always a good find. But that one is gonna be probably in the $80 range, I would assume. Next is a My Chemical Romance. I cannot help but pick up these band tees. <laughs> this was 2008. So it is vintage technically. Um, and it's an XL. It's in really great condition. I have this up for 25. Great band. <laughs> I saw a probably a 13 year old wearing a My Chemical Romance shirt one time at... I think it was a yard sale and I was like oh my gosh I like your shirt and I felt like such a dork he was like thanks and he probably has no idea that like that was that was my generation's band but apparently they're still cool and they're still resonating with young kids which is awesome this is a brand I definitely shouldn't have picked up I did get this at that rummage sale it's Pawnee I guess I'm guessing is how you say it it is really cute. It's just a printed blouse, long sleeve, like a balloon sleeve. It is gorgeous. A really pretty green color. It's a size small. I didn't really run comps on this before I bought it. I did pay $2, so not too bad. Um, it said made in India. That's the reason why I decided to go with it. Some made in India items can go for quite a bit. So I always kind of do a quick Google search, but I didn't get to this time. This is up for, I think, 15. The selfie rate is no bueno. So we'll see what I get for that. Next is also an estate or the rummage sale find. It is the brand. Let me find the tag. Muji, I think is how you say it. Yeah. And every dress that I've come across from this brand, it does not have a tag up here. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I knew this was something nice just from the material. It's a hundred percent cotton, like a denim chambray. I was like, this has to be nice. So I decided to look at the material tag and this brand always, I don't know what it is, or maybe it's just the ones that I have found. It just has the, you probably won't be able to see that. It just says Muji on there. And yeah, I believe it's from Japan. But this is a really pretty, like super modest denim chambray dress. It's like a three quarter sleeve and it goes down to like a mini maxi dress. It's really pretty. Um, man, I, I don't, I can't think of the style, like the general aesthetic right now, but it's just more of that like modern, simple, modest kind of, I can't think of it, but I have this up for 40. It has a couple watchers already and some likes on Poshmark. So I think it'll go for a good price, maybe 30. I did pay $3 for that. This is from the bins. It is Velvachine, which this is vintage made in the USA. I think it's vintage anyway. Maybe it's not. Um, but this actually just sold for 20 bucks. It had like 18 watchers on it. So this brand is definitely one to keep an eye out for. I don't think it necessarily goes for a lot, but it did sell quickly for $20. Next is a Nike. This is a kids medium. 
This is a newer style. It's just like a heathered brown. It has the Nike embroidery at the collar and then the back is so cute. Um, yeah, so this is a kid's medium kind of cropped crew neck sweater. I have it up for 15. I didn't know it was kids when I bought it. <laughs> um, yeah, getting home and doing research. I was like, oh crap, this is kids. So I don't know how it's going to do, but we will see. This is free people. We the free. This is a super cute kind of striped button down shirt. It has the raw hem on the bottom very coastal vibe it's a cotton linen blend and it is a large so super cute probably about 25 for that maybe 20. we've got a lucky brand this is lucky tees and it's just a peace sign with a heart sort of thing i always pick up vintage lucky brand tees they do really well 100 percent cotton long sleeve i don't get much for them maybe 15 to 20 sometimes even 10 but for, for a quick flip i will gladly pick those up here is the other free people or <laughs> free people lululemon bra uh, all the bras were 36c so they were all donated by the same person they were in one bin just kind of like strewn about thrown what's the word i'm trying to say here thrown about not thrown i don't know um <laughs> So they were all just kind of scattered all over one bin, but they're great finds. Um, this one I have up for 30. It's a black one. Oh, I have some shoes in here. I forgot. Next is a, the great P and W. This is just kind of like a, a P and W boutique brand and it's new with tag originally sold for 28. I'm not expecting, I think I have this up for 15, but it's just a really cute little graphic tee. I thought I would give it a shot since it's new a tag. That brand, my husband often like searches out that brand. So I'm hoping that other people do the same. <laughs> Next is a Disney spirit Jersey. So cute. This is kids size medium seven, eight. And it is like the fleece one with the spell out on the back so cute i have this one up for 30 i believe we're getting to the end of it thank you for sticking around <laughs> oh my goodness this was a big one um this is a handmade quilt i decided to give this a go i have i don't normally pick up this kind of handmade quilt i will pick up the ones you know that are worth a ton that go for a ton of money but this is just maybe like a toddler's quilt it's so cute it's like a mustard and a navy blue i thought this would be so precious in a little boy's room maybe like a brand new toddler bed <laughs> i have it up for 30 um because it is handmade that's why i picked it up and i know that there is a buyer out there for that and it has i think three watchers already so it will sell soon. <laughs> These I may not have picked up if I would have known better. <laughs> they are two Disney pajamas. They are new with tags, so that's the main reason why I picked them up. But this one is a medium. It's a Minnie Mouse kickback relax, just kind of like a nightgown, women's nightgown. And then this one, this one is really cute. It's a medium large. It's from... Oh my gosh, what's the movie? The Feelings, the Feelings movie, I think. What does it say? Morning already? Ew. So these are super wrinkled, but they will be fixed. This one was also new a tag. I think I have both of them up for 15 to 20. I'm really not expecting much for those. The comps were not the best whoa next is a free people the size was cut out once again so i'm guessing it was the same person as the last free people this one i'm guesstimating an extra small it is a really cute denim jacket with the detachable hood and the sweater sleeves the sell-through rate for this wasn't actually that bad 
Um, I couldn't find the style name, but looking up Free People denim jackets and seeing which ones have sold pre-owned, this specific style with the, the hood and the sleeves, <clears throat> excuse me, was selling pretty consistently. So I think that one should go for maybe like 20 to 30. This was a silly pickup as well. What is my deal with Disney items? I'm like, I can't leave them. Am I a Disney person? I think I am. Um, this is just a really cute Halloween, um, wow, scrub top. I almost couldn't think of that. But I have this one up for I think $12, maybe 10, maybe eight is what I'll get for it. But it is an XL and it's so cute. How can you not wear this if you have to wear some sort of scrubs? I would be decking myself out every holiday. <laughs> Okay, next is Notori. This is Notorious, which I I couldn't even really find anything on this exact tag, but it is 100% silk. It's just a really pretty blouse, like a pink blouse, and it has this kind of like detachable, there is a button in here that you can take this little handkerchief blouse thing off. It is an XL. Yeah, 100% silk. It's super cute. It needs to be steamed as well. <laughs> Don't judge me. But this, I think I have up for 30. Notori is a great brand, especially with like sleepwear items. Um, definitely something that's overlooked a lot of times. So keep an eye out and maybe like run comps on that if you run across it. This as well was like what? I think it was a slow day at the bins. This is Vera Bradley. A scrub top another scrub top maybe 10 bucks for this i just thought it was cute and there were a lot of scrub tops posted on ebay that have sold so i thought i would give it a try it is a medium i believe yes and it's a, like nice stretchy it's not 100 percent cotton so maybe somebody will have to have it we'll see <laughs> next is bowden this is just a size 10 blouse I don't expect much for Bowdoin tops anymore. The dresses do a little bit better. Um, not necessarily something I would pick up for full price or, you know, full price at Goodwill, but at the bins, I will definitely pick up. This I think I have up for 25. We got like two back-to-back -back rainbow things here. <laughs> I have about four more items. So thank you guys for watching and like staying till the end if you have made it this far. This is a brand I had, I literally thought this was maybe some sort of like office wear, office um, programming wear. Doesn't it look like Microsoft or something? Wilbur suit, soot. It is a, just a crew neck long sleeve t-shirt with the rainbow stripe. It is a men's medium and this is up for like 40 bucks. This brand, if you come across it, always run comps because some of the, I think like the more, the thicker sweatshirts were going for quite a bit more. It's crazy. I have, I still have no idea what this brand is for or from or what, but the sell through rate was pretty good. So I picked it up. <laughs> Next is a vintage, super cute kids coat. I couldn't leave it behind. It is, uh, not in very good condition, honestly. I don't know why I picked it up, but I thought somebody could maybe restore it or if they just wanted to wear it as is, that's awesome. It does have a few like moth holes or maybe burn marks from maybe a fire. That one's definitely from a fire, but on the inside it has some, I think some moth holes. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys. But it was too cute to leave behind. I couldn't leave it. Yeah, just some holes on the inside. It is from the brand Snow Peak, made in Korea, size 12. This is actually a really great brand to be on the lookout for, their newer stuff. I did find a sweatshirt from this brand at Goodwill, I think a month ago, and um, reselling for like 50 to 150 is what the range was for this brand. So keep an eye out for that, the newer stuff, but isn't this so cute? I think I have this only up for 25. I thought I would give it a shot just to see if anybody would like it. And last are two pairs of shoes. 
and then you are free to go. I'm done holding you hostage for the day. <laughs> just kidding. These are a pair of Fry just slip on sandals. They are a seven and a half, I believe, or maybe just a seven. Yeah, seven and a half. They are really dang cute. The wooden heel, a little bit of wear to the toes, but overall in pretty good condition. I have these ones up for 30. And then some good old Chacos, last but not least. These are women's size eight, really, really cute. They have like an orange kind of like Aztec design to the straps. These ones I have up for 40, just because that Aztec design is a little more sought after. So yeah, very cute. That is my haul, holy cow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, like I said, um, it means a lot to me that people are actually enjoying watching my videos and hanging out with me. So I appreciate it so much. I want to keep doing these and it's really fun to share my finds with you. If you are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps me out and I would love to have you here. So yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. I hope you have a great day. Bye.